Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about how you can start squash and zucchini there in these trays and cucumbers in cups. These are to get your transplants ready for the garden. Today is May 8th. These were started on April 20th, so it's been 18 days, almost three weeks, and that's usually the target. You want to start these somewhere between two to four weeks before you would put them into your containers or into the ground. The zooks and the zucchinis, usually I say put in two seeds, maybe three, um, and then you're going to thin it to the strongest plant. There's so many packed in here because some of these seeds were actually three years old and I didn't think that they would germinate, but they did. When you go to thin your plants out, you're going to want to cut them out because you don't really want to dis disturb the roots of the squash, zucchini plants, or cucumbers. So just cut them off. So I'm going to thin these down, the, the squash and the zucchini, to one plant. And for my cucumbers, I thin them down to two plants. Let me do that and I'll come back. Squash, zucchini, and cucumbers have been thinned down. Squash and zucchini, you only want one plant per cup. And you only want to plant one plant per planting hole in your earth beds. These plants will get really, really large. You don't want two next to each other. Cucumbers, you can certainly just do one plant if you want, but they're fine if you have two plants per cup and you can put two plants in per planting hole. Now these plants have been growing for 18 days. I started them on April 20th and you want to time things so that your night temperatures are about 50 degrees, your soil temperatures is, has warmed up to about 50 degrees, and your days are in the 70s and 80s. These are warm weather plants. They like the warm weather and they're not going to really thrive and grow unless you have those soil conditions. So you kind of look for the date, as I mentioned in other videos, of when you have 50 degree nights, 70 plus degree days, and then you subtract back by two to four weeks. These plants germinate quickly, they get to size pretty quickly, so really you want them to get into the ground between two and four weeks. You don't want to go beyond four weeks. What will start happening is if you leave them in these cups, they'll get root bound, they'll actually start to flower, and it just messes up the whole plant. You want these to go from these cups right into the ground when the root systems are starting to coil around the bottom of the cups. And you can see in this plant, it's really close. This one could go out into the garden this weekend. They're starting to coil. Cucumbers don't grow quite as fast as the zucchini and squash, but they should be down to the bottom and they're starting to coil. So really between the third and fourth week, these plants are going to be ready to go in the ground. These big oval leaves are not true leaves. They're going to turn yellow and die off. These are the true leaves. This big leaf here, this leaf over here, that leaf. In the cucumbers, that's a true leaf. These leaves break the surface first. That's what helps the plant get established. And the zucchini, squash, cucumbers, all seeds actually live off of the seed. That's what provides them nutrients. When you start seeing this leaf, the plant is really using up all the nutrients from the seed. So you can give these a light fertilization, a light feeding with a half strength liquid fertilizer. You can use whatever you want to use. But a light feeding will help these out and keep them going well in the cup. So again, at 18 days, you see the leaves coming. You definitely want to thin your plants down to one cucumber, one um, or two cucumbers, one zucchini, one squash plant. And then between that, you know, third, beginning of the third week to the fourth week, you want to get these into the ground. Hope you enjoyed the video. It gives you some idea of how to manage your zucchini, squash, cucumber transplants, how to time them to get into the garden, and, you know, how to care for them before you put them into your main bed. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.